folks, good morning. I'm up bright and early today. It is currently 4.30 a.m. in New York. Yeah, I know, super early. But I get up early so I can hang out with you guys before my little toddler wakes up. So, we're going to get right into the video. The palette that we're going to be working with today is one of the Lorac Pro palettes. This is a beauty. This is a true, true beauty. This is the Fairy Tale Forest palette. And she looks like this. Isn't she so pretty? I think it's such a beautiful palette. Very, very pretty. It's like, I, they're all so beautiful. I don't even know which shade to go in with first. <laughs> I mean, I, I do have an idea, but I'm not sure because they're all so beautiful. I, th I, think, I think I know what I'm going to do, but the shade names are not listed on the inside, and the only place they were listed on was like this thin black kind of cover to keep all the shadow pans neat and intact. You know, of course, um, if, if, if you're familiar with Lorac, which actually, I'm, I'm not familiar with them, but I, I mean, I, I know who they are, of course. I've always known about them, but I've never tried their formula, so I'm really, really excited to try their formula today. And the primer that we're going to use today, because we want the shadows to come out as true as they are in the pan. So we're going to use a white base, which is... The one of the white base, one of the many ones I have. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Intensified 24 Hour Shadow Primer. So we're going to use this one today. And I'm going to blend it out using my usual reference number 32. So how is everyone doing this morning? Everyone doing well? Well, this is like an off-white base. But it'll do. It looks white, but I'm also partially colorblind. <laughs> it truly doesn't help either. And I think I have enough on this brush to use it on the other eye. And I know I I know my brows aren't done yet. I'm still waking up, and I don't want to mess them up doing them half asleep. Like, I can do eyeshadow easily, have to sleep, but, and still do a great job, but I don't want to mess up my eyebrows, so I'm going to do them after. So let's, let's see if there's anything left on this, on the brush, to, and if not, we can always add more. Looks like there's a pretty decent amount left on here, but with my OCDS, I'm going to add a little bit more. This is a really great primer, guys. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend you try it. So I want to know if you guys watched my Kylie X, my Kylie Cosmetics X Wizard of Oz video that I posted yesterday. It was the first look. I really didn't know where the look was going to go. Like, I kind of was like, I don't know what I want to do. So if the look kind of looks odd, it's also, not because I, I don't know what I'm doing, because I know damn well what I'm doing over here. But, it was so many beautiful shades, I didn't know which one to go in with first. So, eyes are all primed. I'm just Blending the rest of this out. I'm going to bring it out to here because I'm going to do something extra fun with it today. I'm going to close this baby up. I'm going to put her away. Um, a little, I have this. Oh, you guys, I have to show you guys something. So. I got a little storage unit for my makeup. You can see it in the corner. Wait, can you see it? Hang on. 
I'm gonna just reverse the cat. I can't do that. Hang on. Let's see. Well, let's go. I want to show you guys my my first, very very first makeup storage unit. How cool it is! And then I, what I do is I put my my brush holder right on top of here. And then on the side, I have my little makeup bags, my little Pat McGrath bag, my little Sephora bag. So, yeah, I really, I, I wanted to share that with you guys because I was super, I had fun putting it together last night. It was a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry that I just, that was super random. But I wanted to show you guys because I was so excited. So I'm going to clean off this brush. Okay, put her put the brush back in her home. The brushes that we're going to be working with today, if if I don't have to reach for more, we have the Wayne Goss Edit number 7 brush which I used yesterday. My refer number 23. Just for defined detail work. Takes the paint out of detail work for sure. I'll tell you that. My reference number three. My reference number 15. <laughs> my, this is such a great blending brush. It really is. My Sonya G Fusion Detail. And my Sonya G Lotus Soft Definer Brush. So... I'm going to be using to put my transition shade is going to be my forever number 15 brush which looks like this nice fluffy soft blending brush okay now the hard part <laughs> um which shade do I start with I think I want to do like a greenish kind of teal look that's what I'm feeling like today. So I'm thinking I want to do, let's see. Let's start with this shade right here. Oop, sorry guys. Let's start with, what shade was it? This one right here. We're gonna start with that shade. I'm going to put the palette back down so that I could use it, use the mirror to hold it up. Okay, we're going to go in with that first shade. Here we go. I'm really excited to try the formula. I've never tried Lorac. I've heard they're great. I have heard they're really, really good. But I've never tried them for myself. So, here we go. First shade. Don't know what it's called, but first shade. Okay, blends out smoothly, so we're off to a good start. I'm going to bring it out. I need a little bit more. So I'm happy that I got a little storage unit, storage, storage unit, a little storage, uh, tower. Let me check in the mirror real quick. That went on nicely. I think because it's so light that it's hard to tell. And I'm just kind of tapping.
tap, 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 tap. <laughs> Let's see if it's even. We're gonna put another shade on top of it, so I'm really not worried, like if it comes out perfect or not. This is just, just you know my transition shade. Alright, let's get some more product on the brush. It's going to be a fun, pretty, sparkly look. I feel like using sparkles today, so that's what we're going to do. Sorry guys, I'm trying to blend this shade out. I think what it is, I need to apply more. There we go, that's what I want. I, I, you know what it was, is I was dipping just my brush slightly in to the product. Like tiny, to like barely touching it, and I think that's why <laughs> it wasn't coming out the way I wanted that we wanted it to. Next shade I already have in mind that I'm going to need my Wayne Goddess Detail Brush for, or maybe two of my refers, or my Sunny Tree. I'm trying to decide which one will work best for this specific look that I'm going for. And I, I know in a lot of my recent videos, guys, that I don't use face shields, like face shields, eye shields. But because I switched my makeup routine backwards, well not really backwards, it was backwards to begin with, I switched it to doing my eyes first. So I don't want to get any fallout on my, on my nice moisturized clean face. Because that is not fun. Okay, now, the next shade, we're going to switch brushes. Next shade we're going to go in with, I'm trying to think. Um, let's see. Let's, I'm thinking let's either use the Lotus Soft Definer or my Wayne Goss number 7. Number 7. But because these two brushes can be used for the same thing. One is more pointy than the other, but the other one is softer. So I'm trying to see. Mm hmm. Well, we got, well they, none of my brushes have ever really let me down. Um, the next shade that I want to go in with today for today's look is let's take a look let's, i'm gonna go in with this i think it's like a topish kind of grayish green shade this shade right here and i want to put that um let's see hmm. actually i might have to use a darker shade only because of the look that I'm going for. But I wish they had like a dark green in this palette. 
That's what I wish they had because I need it. I need that type of. Well, I don't need it, but I prefer. Let's just give it a shot. I'm going to use the bottom shade all the way in the right hand corner. Starting from here. I'm going slightly out of my comfort zone because I have not done a look that I'm going for in a while. In a while, while. I'm talking like months. Okay. It's a pretty shade. Very, very pretty shade. We're going to do something similar to a halo eye. Something similar. Oh. I didn't get in here. I'm gonna go over it one more time because the shade is very, very pretty. It's like a burgundy, and I really, really love burgundy shades. That's pretty. They do take a little building up, but nothing I can't work with. I think I need a different brush. I'm going to use my Lotus Swift Definer and use and see if that makes a difference. Oh yeah, okay, this does make a difference. They're both wonderful brushes, don't get me wrong. But, I'm going to bring it slightly into the crease. Very, very pretty. Now I'm going to go back in here. And do the same thing that I did on the other side. That's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. That beautiful little... This... This beautiful little... Okay, we're gonna do this one on the other side. I'm just gonna...
make sure they're even. That one came out beautiful. This one, this one did too. But I need to define the shape a little bit more. I like, I do really, really like this look a lot. I just wish they had a, um, shades of green in the matte formula. Because I could use another matte before I do the shimmer. I'm just cleaning off my brush. I'm going to put this brush to the side in case we need it again. We shouldn't, but just in case. Now... I'm going to take this shade right here and put it right in the middle. Or should I use the other green? I'm going to use this green. Let's see how that looks. Oh, looks really pretty. My bat, my Kylie Cosmetics Batman collection order is coming tomorrow. I'm so excited. So excited. And then my Rose and Ben Beauty brush set. Rose, I hope you see this video because I got your brush. I got your brushes. I ordered them on Tuesday morning, when the first thing in the morning. <laughs> Thank you for shipping them on the same day. It really means a lot to me. It really does mean a lot to me, Rose. Just got lost in thought for a second, guys. I'm like, I just was thinking about something. And sometimes when I get lost in thought, I freeze up for a second. <laughs> this formula is very, very nice. Very beautiful, very soft. That looks beautiful. Let me check the mirror. Let me check the... Oh. The mirror. Looks so pretty. I'm going to take the shade right under it, which is this shade right here. I'm going to go... Towards the outer corner with it. Actually, no, fuck it. I'm just going to go over it. I want the two shades of, like, greenish to blend together. But I like that we still have our defined line up here. such pretty eyelashes that I'm going to be using today, guys. So 
looks beautiful. Let me add a little bit more. I love this look and I like that I left a little bit of space between where we applied the, which shade was it? Yeah, it was this shade, which we applied to make that little curve. I really like this look a lot. It's very, very pretty. I feel like I'm missing something now. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, not sure, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna put on, um, uh, wait, that one has more on it than this one does. I gotta fix this. Now, I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to put on my mascara, which is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Rag Mascara, which I just re-upped on, which is great because I needed to, I, I was, I ran out and I was not having fun without it. <laughs> and then for the lashes that we're going to be using today, look how freaking cute these are. These are part of the Valentine's Day um, Lash Couture collection by Kiss. I cannot wait to put these on. They will be so, so pretty. I just have to find, really quick, my... Got my eyeliner check, mascara check, Caroliner check. Okay, so... When I apply my lashes, I use the Lily Lashes 2-in-1 Power Liner. This is a lifesaver. So I'm going to be using that. For my bottom borderline, I usually use the Too Faced Killer Cajal. I think I'm, pronoun I th I think I'm pronouncing it right. Killer Cajal. Um, for my waterline, so I'm going to be using that. And then my... Lash bag, lash bag mascara. So I'm gonna pause the video, and then I will be back when my when I have my lashes on and my mascara. And I'm gonna pause the video again, do my whole rest of my face foundation and all, and I'll be back. I'll be back, guys. All right, I'll see you in a few. Hey guys, so this is the final eye look. I put on my super fun Kiss lashes, my Too Faced Waterline Eyeliner, and my Lash Brag Anastasia Beverly Hills. What's going on with this eyelash? Looks like it was starting to come off, so I almost had a heart attack. But it's not. It's still there. But, um... Yeah, so I'm going to pause the video once again. Just for, just until I can get my com all my complexion products on. And then I'm going to hop back on camera and show you guys the final complete look. Sound good? Alright, be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. So, <clears throat> here is the final look. Face makeup done and all. I really, really love how my eyes came out today. I'm very happy with the look. The lashes look great. I'm wearing my new, um, it's called Lip Blush. It's like a matte lipstick, liquid lipstick by Kylie um, in the shade called Bikini Bod. And I really, really love it. But anyway, guys, I really hope you guys had fun today. I sure had fun today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, I'm so glad that you came by today and spend some time with me if you did like what you saw and you want to see more of 
tutorials like this and some of the other videos that you may see on, on my channel, consider hit that subscribe button and I will always ensure that you guys enjoy yourself while being on my channel. I can promise you that. And I don't break my promises. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, well, tomorrow morning we will be doing an, another video. I don't know which palette yet, but we will be doing one. It's going to be one out of three that I have in mind. And then for uh, tomorrow, my Batman Kylie collection is coming, which means Saturday we're going to be doing a Batman video, part one, look number one. So that's just a little update, a little forecast for you guys. And I love you all so, so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Thank you for watching.